Look at my trading day today. Traders, my trading week is over. My trading day is over. My trading week is over. I had uh, three winners today. Uh, nothing too big, nothing to write home about. Uh, one loser, also not a big one. So if you take a look at uh, the end result here, I'm up um, $3,700 and that's it. So a good, small for me, green day with three winners, one loser. Let's take a quick look at some of my trades today. I start with INO because it was really the simplest uh, technical formation here. The stock is down 27%. You would expect it to come down because it's a big gap and go. You expect it to be a gap and go. And uh, the first move down, uh, I'm very happy to say I did not take. We posted it, if you remember, under 650. It did not, till now, come under 650. And uh, anyway, it did not trigger. You can see here that that was the first move down and that failed to move higher. It had support at the lows. You would expect stocks to have support at the lows. It came to 650. That's why you need to short it under 650. Plus, you need to remember one more important thing there. When you have a semi whole numbers, always expect support. When the stock is coming down to a whole number, it finds more support. When it comes to a semi whole number, 650, it finds some support. Sometimes more, sometimes less, depending on a lot of issues. But you know, today I know has a lot of volume, so you would expect um, a support at a semi whole number 650. That's what it found. It spiked up, but since it's down 27% right now, it was uh, at sometimes more than that, then you would expect it to fail. So we look for the first opportunity to short it after it moved higher. You do not expect an uptrend because it's down so much. So we took that opportunity again. We had a 20 something cent uh, target, 20 something cent stop loss. So it's just a small winner for me. But anyway, it worked out fine. Technically speaking, exactly what you would expect from a stock that gaps and goes with a big gap down. You could have found uh, mRNA, now I'm moving to mRNA, uh, on my uh, pre-market list for a long. And I did like the way it looked. I like the fact that it started with a gap up today, although very small. So I looked at it pre-market time. I like the daily. Let's take a look at the daily. You can see that uh, it is trending higher recently, then came down, resting a little bit, trying to move higher. Technically speaking, when you see a formation like that, it's very, very likely to spike and challenge the high soon. So if you're looking for a swing trade, for example, MRNA could be it, could be one of them, of course. So it's trending higher, looks like it has very nice uh, daily. Now, if we move to the intraday, you just look for a technical formation. So again, it moved up quite a lot. I was waiting for a pullback. I wasn't sure I'm going to get it. I, I think I mentioned at some point in the room when one of you guys posted it, that uh, it's just too extended for me. Wait for a pullback. It did pull back. We find a nice technical formation for a long. It worked out fine, more than a dollar. But, you know, at that point, uh, at that point, it uh, just uh, I took my partial. Uh, very happy to do to have done so. Very close to actually less than one point, and then it came down, moved out, and that's it. So just a nice technical formation, uh, some advantage looking at the daily. What about my riot trade? Well, at that riot started down today with a big gap down today with all the crypto stocks because um, Bitcoin got um, hit very strong recently. And I was expecting or hoping that it's going to continue and then I could find a good short opportunity in right. So I was looking for a short opportunity in right. It was on my pre-market uh, list. And again, when a stock is on my pre-market list, I watch it during the trading session looking for an opportunity to go, uh, in this case, short. So it moved higher. At that point, I saw that uh, the Bitcoin continues to come down. There is, of course, some kind of correlation between uh, Riot and the Bitcoin. And once the Bitcoin came down and Riot was looking like it's mo it moved up a little bit too much. And again, you expect a gap and go. Well, at that point, you know, Riot was down, what, 7%, something like that. I can't remember. So it looked like it could made a big move down, which did not happen. But, you know, when you manage your trade and you have, uh, like I do, one-to-one -one risk reward, 
and you put your stop somewhere and your target somewhere and I did not reach my target. If you remember my target was 34, uh, around 34.10. Actually I did reach it but uh, I was trying to get a little bit more. I think I took 34.15 or something like that so I did not take my full target in Riot as I should have. But anyway it was a, um, it was a, a green trade and then it just <laughs> moved higher with the Bitcoin. So again watch the Bitcoin, it moved higher with the Bitcoin. So that was uh, another small winner. Again, not a big mover and small winner. I did have one loser. American Express started with a gap down today. I mean, right now it's down 2%. I think it was down 3% or so. And, you know, again, try to move higher. Probably the entry should have been somewhere, ar somewhere around here, but it wasn't. I, was, I, I, I just saw it a little bit later. The point I chose was extremely bad, as you can see here. So it just came down. Uh, a little bit. I mean, technically speaking, it was not wrong. It was the right point. But the market was trending higher. Somehow, American Express decided it wants to move up with the market. Well, could happen. And anyway, moved higher, had my stop. Can't win them all, right? So three winners, one loser. It's good for Friday. Although I will finish uh, my week approximately flat. Uh, it's been another tough week for me. I'm not used to that and I have my last uh, uh, few weeks looking the same. Um, sometimes, well around zero I would say my last uh, three weeks or so. Um, hard times really. I don't have a lot of picks, pre-market picks. Uh, some people would ask me should I change something, should I uh, change my system. I did get uh, like one or two emails like that. The answer is no, 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 no. I've been through periods where it would be, it, it happened for much longer periods, like months that you would go like up and down like that. Some weeks are green, some weeks are red. Some days are like this, some days are like that. Anyway, uh, it just passes. It's time like that. We need to go through. Market doesn't always give me what I want it to give me. And um, and again, I need to check if, if this week is red or green. I think it's just around zero, maybe small loss, maybe small one winner. I don't know. I'm not sure. I need to go to my account and check it out. But anyway, it was tough, tough week, up and down. And um, so that's it for me. Um, World Series of Day Trading is going on. Uh, this is the third day of the competition today. We had uh, some fun, uh, fourth, sorry, fourth, third. Anyway, um, really going well so far. And uh, so just uh, wish you all the best and a great weekend. I'm definitely going to enjoy this weekend. Some fantastic weather over here in Cyprus. Uh, summer is coming slowly. So um, really good times. So just enjoy your weekend. Stay safe. Stay green. And I'll see you here next week. Thank you for joining. Yeah, third day. Thank you.